What's up guys, new video coming at you here from Techie Today. Uh, I'm here to show you the Wicked Realm series by the Deviant Development Team. Um, it's a meant to be a faster, smoother, and cleaner version of the T-Mobile Galaxy S3 software. Um, so yeah, it looks very stock, yes. I know that's first impressions, and that's meant to be the first impression, basically, because that's what it is. It's not exactly stock, but it is the um, the UVDLJA, which is basically the T-Mobile stock 4.1.1 Jelly Bean DO Dext ROM with some added features. Um, so things, some some just stuff in here that has been added. These are this is this is my customized app draw. I didn't do a fresh install to show you because this is my daily driver, and I just figured I'd show you that. I do use it as my daily driver. All my apps are there. Everything is there. So yeah, it's just a it's just a T-Mobile. It's basically the stock ROM with some features that I will tell you now. So it has a modified stock kernel, so you can do a little bit of overclocking. Uh, you can't do some extreme stuff, but I believe it does support some other kernels, so you can do some more stuff to it. It has over-the-air support, for um, those of you who don't know what over-the-air support is in terms of ROMs, that is this. Over-the-air updater is basically the developer's way of giving you an over-the-air update. So as soon as the ROM is updated, it will come through this right there, which you can't see my finger because it's out of focus. But, um, yeah, so this will give you an update, and that is quite nice because you don't have to go onto the form, get the download, download it, then install it and everything like that. So that is quick and easy way of um, doing things. It also has, um, it's zip aligned and it's batch optimized, which makes things just a little bit faster and all that good stuff. Um, it has some build prop tweaks for things like the Play Store and whatever else, and it's very tuned to the Galaxy S3 for T-Mobile, okay? Um, it has init D support and init D script tweaks. It also has gotten rid of the Carrier IQ, which I'm sure you guys have heard of it by now. It's basically um, your carrier eavesdropping. I say that with air quotes. Um, eavesdropping on the things you're doing. It can keep track of little things um, for you that you probably don't want it to keep track of just because it's not very private. Uh, so they got rid of that, which is nice. It has um, root access and BusyBox and Super User, which I'm sure you guys know what those things are and I'm sure those things are things you want. It has data and app support. It is semi deep loaded which means that there are a few bloat apps which I have chosen to hide. I'm sure you can. there are a few in here that are bloat air quotes again. All share I would consider a bloat app. However it is basically a feature of the phone but for that is one example I suppose. Um, other little things like um, T-Mobile TV, which I'm sure you guys know about. It's not there, but that is an example of a bloat app. Um, anyway, it is. Um, it has no startup sounds for those of you who like it quiet, which I do. They have changed the startup and shutdown animations to um, be more wicked ROM. You know? It is lightly themed and has 15 toggles, which I'll show you real quick. So as you can see, the toggles are different here. Um, and there's the 15 toggles, which is nice, because then you have the full control right there in your notification center without even having to open the settings. Um, it also has this pull-down text is centered right there, wicked, which can be, I, it cannot be changed, but it is there, and that is how it looks. It has an advanced power menu, which I'll show you real quick. As you can see, you have these extra things down here for profiles and such. And it has restart, which does extra things. Power and airplane mode, which are obvious things. And so with restart, now you can restart into download, you can do a hot boot, or you can do recovery. So those are all nice things um, to have on hand quickly. It has pop-up browser, which um, is harder to explain. Um, here, I'll show you. I'll give you, I'll try to give an example. So if you take a, so let's say you take a video, right? Done. All right, so I took a video. So now, if I want to go, 
and open that video, like so, it can give you the option of doing it in this with a video player. And then you can do something like this. And there, it now plays in the corner. That was a quick video, so you couldn't really see it. But you can move the video around, and you can watch while you do other things, which is cool. Uh, that's a nice feature. Um, specific to the Galaxy S3, which I'm sure you guys know about because it's been talked about quite a bit. Uh, the ROM also comes with Google extensions, which you guys should know about as well. And yeah, so it's currently running Jelly Bean, which is nice too because then you get the Jelly Bean features like Google Now. Right there. So that's Google Now. Um, so yeah, there you go. Those are all things that you got here. It also has, um, what else? It is a very easy ROM to install. Um, all you do is a simple install where you download it, you reboot into recovery, you wipe data factory reset, that is key. Wipe your cache, wipe your Dalvik cache, flash the ROM. And then when it boots, I really recommend you let it sit for five minutes. They ask you to do this. And so you should do this. I don't think it's required on all ROMs. But I mean, I would say for all ROMs, actually, I would do this. Because it helps with you with speed later. And it'll help you in the long run. So I would do that. It is very regularly updated, so you'll always be getting a lot of the latest features. And the Deviant Development Team did a very good job. Not just with this ROM, but with us other ROMs that I will show you in the coming time here. It shouldn't be long before I get my next one uploaded for this um, but yeah this is this one is definitely one of my favorites and I have a few favorites um, but yeah I really highly recommend this ROM it runs great it's super fast it has a lot of features that are really cool for people who do rooting and things like that and it has a lot of things that you're looking for and if you're looking for a stock look well then I would highly recommend going with this um, but yeah so there is that for you sorry I'm a little sick today but yeah, there is that for you. Um, I'll put a link to the actual XDA form page in the description. And you can go and take a look for yourself. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This has been another video from Techie Today. Peace.